Hey, what's up, people? It's your boy Jigga with JiggaTV.com. You already know what the deal is. Make sure you press that like button. Ring that bell for notifications, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let's jump right into this story. An Arizona woman charged with murder after authorities say a nine-year-old died from an enormous hair lice infestation. Two women in Arizona are facing new felony charges in connection with the horrific death of a nine-year-old girl who died from symptoms connected to an untreated hair lice infestation. Authorities say Sandra Krakervich, 38, the girl's mother, and Elizabeth Krakervich, 64, the girl's grandmother, have both been charged with first-degree murder. The Tuscan Fire Department on the morning of March 22nd responded to a 911 call about an unresponsive child at the home located in the 8200 block of East Golf Links Road. Upon arriving to the gated community residence, first responders discovered an unconscious nine-year-old girl and attempted to perform life-saving procedures on the child and contacted the Tuscan Police Department. Unfortunately, medics were not able to resuscitate the girl and she was pronounced dead at the scene. After the child was pronounced dead, officials said a large amount of bugs began to cover her face. Upon closer inspection, it was discovered that there was an enormous amount of lice in her hair. First responders reportedly told investigators, Sandra reportedly said that her daughter suffered from anemia and had been ill since approximately March 15th, with symptoms that included headaches, sore throats, fevers, difficulty breathing, and trouble keeping her balance. One of the victim's older siblings reportedly told the police that her mother had attempted to treat the lice using mouthwash. Text messages recovered from the woman's phone reportedly showed that they chose not to seek medical treatment for the child's symptoms. Sandra sent a message to her boyfriend on March 14th and March 15th stating that she needed to get her daughter to the hospital. A week later on March 21st, she reportedly wrote, oh my God, babe, listen, I'm in the room and my mom called me, was asking if I could check on her to make sure she isn't dying. Sandra's boyfriend reportedly told her to take the child to the hospital, but she allegedly refused. Text between Sandra and Elizabeth also appears to show that the lice infestation ultimately played a pivotal role in the lack of medical treatment. In one message, Elizabeth, who reportedly watched Sandra's children while Sandra was at work, threatened to call 911 for her granddaughter. However, she decided against calling for help, writing that the child can't go to the ER with her hair, but that's left to me because you at work and I'm at the house. In an interview, Sandra allegedly admitted that if she sought medical care, her daughter would probably still be alive, investigators wrote in an uh, Alpha David. Sandra and Elizabeth were both arrested March and initially charged with felony child abuse stemming from the treatment of deceased child siblings ages 11 and 13. Police reportedly said that the deceased child siblings were also suffering from a severe lice infestation per Arizona Daily Star. They were placed in custody of other family members. The Pima County Medical Examiner uh, conducted an autopsy and determined that the little girl's cause of death was neglect. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and run this news story for y'all, let y'all see what's going on. This is a very tragic situation. Both of these women look disturbing. Look at their faces. Man, and I don't even think they should go to their other family members. You know, if the mom and daughter is like that, what do you think? How do you think the family is? You know, dirty people, like, you know, they come from dirty people. So, you know, this is a whole situation of just neglect and negativity that they like the kid has hair lice and you don't want to take it to go get medical attention like people treat animals better than they treat kids you know your dog got fleas you're gonna take your dog to get a flea collar but your, your little kid got hair lice and you don't want to take it to go get medical treatment because you don't want to be embarrassed like it ain't about being embarrassed at this point it's about the kid getting treatment and being able to you know get the medical help she needs at the end of the day kids are just young adults in training but they cannot make these type of decisions on their own because they don't have the mental co mental capacity to you know go out and get these type of things done so it's on parents and other adults to take it on and, and handle it for them but they dropped the ball they definitely should be hit with first degree murder 
you know, I would go left, but I'm not keep it. I'm gonna keep it, uh, you know, PG for for YouTube and you know other purposes. But man, this is really really messed up, man. Let me know what y'all think below in the comments. You know, it's just a crazy story just to hear something like this and look at their faces, man. Look at these two women faces, man. Like wow, it's crazy. It's your boy Jake with Jigga TV, and I'm out.